Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk about the difference between complaining and venting. Now in all of our lives at some point or another we come across times that are very challenging, times that push us to our limits and sometimes beyond our limits. During those times we need to talk about our issues and our struggles with someone else as a way to sort of get our thoughts out there, get our feelings out there and sort of just articulate what's going on in our lives. Now, when we do this with other people, it's oftentimes venting. Venting is when you take a, a negative situation you're experiencing and you talk about it with somebody else with the hopes that maybe that person can lend you some insight or some kind of advice, or at least just give you the opportunity to sort of let off some steam. But if you find yourself venting repeatedly about the same situation, you've probably moved from venting to complaining. Complaining is when you're going through a tough time and you're talking about how much you hate it and how much it stinks, but you're never changing anything. And that's the key between the key difference between venting and complaining. When you vent, usually you make something known, you talk about a situation, and then you figure out what your next step is going to be and you move towards trying to resolve the problems you're experiencing. When you complain, all you're doing is rehashing over and over and over again something that you don't like about your life. Anytime that we're experiencing a situation we don't like, we have three options. The first option is to change the situation. The second option is to change the way we think about the situation. And the third option is to leave the situation. Someone who vents probably has a lot of frustration that's built up and they want to get it out, usually to somebody else that they trust, like a family member or a friend. Someone who complains will constantly talk about that same unfortunate situation, but they'll never do anything about it. The venter takes one of those three steps, change situation, change their mind, the way they, they look at the situation or leave the situation. The complainer just simply states over and over again, this situation sucks and it sucks. Usually with complainers, it's like you can set your watch to their complaining. It's like every Monday at 8 a.m., you know your coworker is going to come in and just download all their negativity onto you. And it's always the same. It's always the same story. Like every story follows the same arc. I went home the other day and my kids weren't listening to me. And I, boy, do I not like my wife or my husband. And I can't stand my job. And boy, this place sucks. It's the same thing over and over again. And if you find yourself doing that, you might be a complainer. And com complaining is not fun for anybody. It's not fun for the person who's doing the complaining. It's not fun for the person who's listening to the complaining. And the reason is simple. Complainers, since they never change anything, they're doomed to repeat the same situation over and over and over again. Whereas a venter, hey, guess what? We're all venters at some point or another in our lives. But once we vent, we usually make a move to resolve the situation. We figure out what our next steps are. So that's the difference between complaining and venting. And try to examine your life and see whether you complain or whether you vent. If you complain, instead of complaining again, what you should do is you should find out what you're going to do to resolve the situation. Or you're just going to stop talking about the situation. Because if a situation is consistently crappy and you cannot change it no matter what you do, then talking about it is just a waste of your time. Thinking about it is just a waste of your time. It's like saying like every time it rains, you're going to just go up to someone and be like, oh, it's raining outside. I hate it. I can't stand getting wet. It sucks. You can't change the weather. And if you can't move, then you're stuck there. So every time it rains, just deal with it. There's nothing else you can do about it. So again, try to examine whether you're a venter or a complainer. And think about some of the people in your life who are complainers maybe more so than they're venters. When you encounter somebody who's complaining and they're just consistently talking about the same thing over and over again with you, at some point, if you realize they're never going to make a change, you just need to tell them, hey, look, I understand that you have concerns, but if you're not going to change them, then what's the purpose of talking to, about them to me? Because if you're not going to change anything. It's just going to be the same conversation over and over and over again. None of us are going to get anywhere and we're going to move on, wash, rinse, repeat. So if you are surrounded by complainers, articulate that to the person in a nice way and just be like, look, we need to make a change here. 